not just Islam, but stop demonizing any group. We are living in a time and we are living in a culture that loves to hate or needs to hate, okay? I mean, as long as I have been alive and for a lot of time before, the West or the developed countries has always been demonizing a group. I mean, if it wasn't like the only good Indian is a dead Indian, you know, you, you, you come forward into World War II where, you know, the Germans were Krauts and then, you know, the Korean War where the, where the Koreans were the Gooks and then into the Vietnamese War where, the, you know, they weren't Vietnamese. No, no, they were Charlie or Slants or something like this, you know. And, you know, every different person is given a name that is, is dehumanizing them. Okay, you're not, you know, you're not killing, you know, you're not killing a person, you're killing a Kraut. World War Two, you know, you know, you're not killing a, a North Korean. You're killing a gook. You know, it's you know an ugly word. You know, you're not you're not killing a Vietnamese. You're killing a slant. I mean, where does this ugliness come from? But this is, it's a process, of, basically programming a people to see another people as, as something, different from what they are. And every single time, every single time after the massacre you know after the dust settles we turn around and we start realizing that we're rubbing shoulders with these people and they're okay you know the indians that we massacred the american indians that we massacred we now go and visit their rev their reservations we enjoy their art we enjoy their food we see the beauty of their customs and the gentleness of their natures after world war ii the, you know, there are all these touching stories of soldiers who were united with their counterparts, you know, I mean, the, the American, you know, the American uh, soldier who was uh, interned in a prison of war camp and uh, suffered horribly during his internment and da, 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 and uh, later after the war is united with his captors. And they both just realized we were, we were on different sides of the equation and we're both okay. You know, or the one who was shot down by another pilot or, or uh, you know, was, you know, intimately involved in the struggle of life and death and the struggle of the war against another counterpart with which they were united later and, you know, later. And they just realized, you know, I mean, we're all human, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, the Germans in this country, the Japanese in this country, where'd they come from? The same countries that we were fighting. And what do we think about them now? I, I mean, I mean, sushi, you know, I, I mean, everybody knows, knows a Japanese person, if nothing else, just from our, our food culture. And, and, you know, we, we found that the people that we were killing before, we found that the people that we were fighting before on the basis of ideology, who we thought were less than human, they're okay. Yeah. After the Vietnam War, I mean, you couldn't go into a convenience store in America except you had a high chance that you're going to be doing business with the Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. and, and they were okay. And what, shock of shocks, you yeah. know? I mean, they're just like us. They, they just want to live life and, and, you know, have a peaceful existence and so on and so forth. That's the, the power of the human connection, huh? I'm just saying, look, I'm just saying whether, whether you're talking about the, you know, the forces that we were at war with in World War II, where, where you're talking about, you know, Mussolini's Italy uh, in, uh, you know, in that period, or whether you're talking about the, the, you know, the Nazi Germans, or whether you're talking about the Japanese, I'm talking about, the, you know, Koreans during the Korean War, the Vietnamese, uh, it, it just doesn't matter what pool you look at. I mean, once you started, once these people were conquered and we found ourselves you know they immigrated and we found ourselves living next to them we found all of our preconceptions dispelled we found that we had been lied to we found that we had been deceived and we found that it was all for the purpose of an agenda that was beyond us okay mm -hmm. so when are we going to wake up when are when are we going to open our minds and recognize that we are being misled for a purpose, for an agenda. Good points. More to come with Dr. Lawrence Brown here in the Dean Show. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>